Hello 008, Ertsi here and welcome to Armor 3 Weapon Guide. As the name says, in the upcoming episodes I'm going to talk about Armor 3 or more like Armor 3 Alpha and the weapons in it. Not too much hard stats or anything, just um, common feeling about them, a little bit about the attachments and maybe a little tips or hints or at least my opinions which situation, which weapon uh, suits the best. And to kick off things properly, today we are going to start about MX 6.5. MX 6.5 is a basic assault rifle available for Blue 4. MX 6.5 uses, as it says, 6.5 times 39mm caseless rounds. It has two fire modes, semi-auto and full auto. Fully automatic fire mode should be used only in extremely close quarters situations because... The recoil is quite massive and it's extremely hard to control. Except if you're prone. Before we get to the attachments, a few words about the damage. As a new player spawns in, he spawns in with 1.0 health. A damage for each weapon for each individual range is displayed on the left as you can see. It's a 1 point something or 0 point something. Depending on if you hit the target to the head, to the torso, hands, legs or the gun. Maximum damage for MX 6.5 is 1.39. It's achieved by getting the almighty headshot. At uh, 10 meters distance, the damage on the torso shot is around 1.34 to 1.36. And of course the damage drops over the distance. As I promised, no more hard stats. MX 6.5 comes with the default Iron sights which are 0 to 100 meters. Of course you can engage targets longer than 100 meters with the iron sights, but if the target is for example 150 meters away, you have to aim above the target or the point where you want to hit. But as you can see over 100 meters, it's, it becomes a little bit hard to um, spot the targets or hit them effect efficiently. First attachment or site we are going to talk about is called ACO. ACO stands for Advanced Collimator Optics. It is 0 to 200 meters, so you can effectively engage targets over the 200 meters. It offers you 1 to 2 time magnification and an open sight, so it makes switching between targets relatively easy. ACO comes also with another setup for crosshairs. First one had this circle plus dot in the middle setup, second one comes with the triangle and dot above it. In my opinion both of these sides are perfect for close range engagement. And all the way up to the 200 meters or as far as you can actually see. Next site is called Mark 17 Holosite or Holographic site. It comes with the same magnification as the ACO site from 1 to 2 times magnification that is, but it's 0 to 300 meters, so you can efficiently engage targets over the 300 meters. Though, it limits your sight a little bit more than the previous sight, so this might not be the best one for extremely close range engagements. Well, just keep in mind, in M3 you won't be getting into extremely close range engagements every day or every minute. Next site we have is called RCO or Rifle Combat Optics. It is 0 to 300 meters for default and it's a dual site. First site gives you 12 times magnification and in theory you can engage targets over 1 kilometer with this scope. But because of the damage model of Arma 3, I, what I experienced over 350 meters you can one shot kill people if uh, well if you don't hit them to the arms or in the toes 400 meter meters distance it's much more rare to get the one hit kill so this is because of the damage and because the shooting is um, the shooting and the shooting physics and bullet physics dermatry are 
much more harder than, for example, in Battlefield 3. They are closer to realistic. The scope comes also with another variant, with the same kind of uh, magnifications. It is also a dual sight and it offers you 12 times magnification. The only things which are different are the crosshairs and how it looks. The second one has these, again these triangles, green triangles, and the color is khaki, or desert khaki. And if you, if you have played Medal of Honor Warfighter, you might be a familiar with the term of dual sight. So you have this big magnification scope, and then you have, on top of it you have this short range scope. It is basically just a simple red dot sight, with very limited magnification. It's um, more like backup if you happen to run to an enemy in a close range situation. One thing to note, both of these re little red dot sides on the dual side, they are also 0 to 300 meters. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or is it just um, a programming fault or some kind of bug. It doesn't really matter, just keep, keep that in mind, because if you shoot people with this unclosed range, the bullets are going to hit lower where you actually aim. Next attachment available, it's called IR Laser Pointer. That stands for Infrared Laser Pointer. You can see the laser beam on the daylight. You need to use the thermal goggles or night vision goggles. So it's really useful only at night time when the whole squad or team has night vision goggles on. It's good for pointing targets and naviga navigating during the night, but it also gives out your position if the enemy has night vision goggles on. It also adds to your overall weight you carry and also affects your recoil because you have more weight next to the barrel. Next up is the tactical flashlight. It's a tactical flashlight attached your gun which you, you can use during the night. The light beam doesn't light up for too far away and it gives out your position very easily. In my opinion during the night time you're better off with the laser pointer and just with the night vision goggles. Only time when I see this might be useful is during the night if you have to clear out the house or you know you're going to be somewhere up to enemy's face and they have night vision goggles so you can use this to blind them. Other than that, don't bother. Of course it's it looks cool but not worth it. And if you didn't know you can use the L key for default to toggle on and off both um, the tag light and the laser pointer. Last real attachment for MX 6.5 is the suppressor. Suppressor of course suppresses the sound of your weapon. It also reduces your recoil a little bit, but it has a massive effect to the damage you deal. Even at 50 meters, it's very rare to get one shot kill. Well, only if you go for the head. In my opinion, the suppressor is best for extremely covert ops or nighttime missions, where you are going to be up close and personal, and it's crucial not to be heard or seen. Last one, it's not really an attachment for the gun, it's more like a modification for MX 6.5. It's called 3GL underslung grenade launcher. It's like M320 or new tube in Battlefield 3 or Call of Duty. There's three kind of ammunition for the grenade launcher. First is the heavy explosive grenades, then there's smoke grenades which are kind of self-explanatory, and then there is a flare ammo. Both flares and smoke can be used also for signaling and flares to light up the battlefield during the night time. The 3GL ammo comes uh, at single packs and also in a packs of three, so you can fire three consecutive shots before you need to reload. And that's all about the attachments. Now, my recommendation would be, considering the nature of the game and all the distances, my pick is ARCO, Advanced Rifle Combat Optics, which you can see me using here. They allow you to engage targets all the way up to 
well as long as you can see, effectively around 400 meters. It also has this simple red dot sight if you have to or need to be up in the enemy's face. For nighttime and cover tops, I'd pick the ACO sight suppressor if you need to be unheard, night vision goggles and the laser pointer. Overall, MX 6.5 is good all around assault rifle. It has potential to one shot kill enemies all over to 350 meters. And in close range fights, it packs so much punch that you won't be in trouble. And that's about it. I hope you find this guide useful and maybe learn something. If you did, please leave a comment and like and stay tuned for next weapon guide for Armour. I thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later.